this is This Love California, and this is Live 5 Show, and I'm Justin Jung. And I'm Eva De La Rosa. We're broadcasting live from Live 5 Studio here on campus. So how was your weekend? Did you do anything cool? If you could count staying in bed all day as cool, then yeah, I did, th I did cool things. Oh wow, that's really cool. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Do you have $17,000 laying around? Obviously I do. If you do, then you might want to think about this Apple Watch. In 2030, Nigeria will be sending an astronaut to outer space. <coughs> a chair worth $400,000? Only magic can be the reason behind this. Or science. Anyway, we have that and a lot more on the other side of the break. Stick around! I am Tetzloff, California. We are Tetzloff, California. I am Tetzloff, California. I am Tetzloff, California. We are Tetzloff, California. I am Tetzloff, California. We are Tetzloff, California. Back from the break. It's time for the Tess Hall play by play. The library is holding a movie called The Hunger Games Catching Fire on Friday. Other movies of the Hunger, uh, Hunger Games series will be held later on. Make sure to go to the library on Friday if you want to see the movie. Oh, okay. Students went to a competitive competition. The competition was held at Carmenita. Hey, this is the Science Olympics. The winners of the egg crash are Casey Fiatro and Sean Parker. I am so sorry if I butcher your names. They came in third place. The winners of the paper airplane are My Michael De La Pina and Kevin Liu. They came in second place. The winners of the Kahoot contest are Sammy Williams, Chloe Chow, Sonatron Park, and Alfonso Marquez. I am so sorry. They all came in second place. The winners of the Crime Solvers, eighth grade probably, are Carrie Orr, Taylor Sanders, Justina Lviv, and Emma Montenegro. <coughs> they came in second place. The, the seventh grade winners of the Crime Solvers are Connor Whaley, John Levano, me, <laughs> and Ian Flick. They came in first place. The seventh grade winners of the Bottle Rocket are Connor Takeshita, Pranavs, and Pranav Sumpurdi. They came in third. Congratulations to all that have entered the competition, and I am so sorry if I butchered your name. Let's check out the test off calendar. Tomorrow is Anime and Mandarin Club. Wednesday will be Garden and Mandarin Club. On Friday, we'll have Minimum Day and Music at Lunch. And the Hunger Games movie will be out in the library. Anyway, looking forward, testing will start on May 9th and go through the 27th. That wraps up the test off calendar. Time to check out Monday's Action Reaction Prank segment. Let's check it out with Moses. Hi, test off Trojans. It's Moses here with another prank segment. Let's see how this one turns out. Batteries. No, a Kindle. Kindles, yes, yes. No, this is it. And I'll give you a Razor scooter. I don't even work here though, so we gotta do it sneakily. How you doing? A couple of these in here for you. Oh, no, it's fine. Put these in here for you. Me? Maybe I can. Oh. I don't even work here. These scooters are five dollars today. Are they really? Yeah. Nice. You gonna get one? And five. Wow, that was so funny. Did you know that he got kicked out of Target? Come back next week and you will see some more. Have a tremendous day, Trojans. That's it for the Play Play Tesla. We'll see you right after the break. I am Tesla, California. I am Tesla, California. We are, are Tesla, California, California, fam. We are Tesla of California. I'm Tesla of California. Every weekday at Tesla of California, we will be selling water. Max, Max. Yeah. I think you need more enthusiasm for this event. I, I, th I think I know what you mean. All right, gotcha.
every weekday at Tesla from 205. Max, Max. Yeah. Now you need to calm down a little. What? All right. I'll do it one more time just for you. Every weekday at Tuts Off, we will be saying water. Have a nice day. The release plans are set in astronaut space in 2030 as part of their plan to develop a world-class space industry. Nigerian Space Agency is planning to visit partners in China this month <coughs> to discuss engineering and financials for a manned space mission that will be the first by an African nation. Abracadabra, the author of a Harry Potter series, J.K. Rowling, sold one of her chairs for $394 thousand dollars on April 7th in New York. She wrote the first two books on the, of Harry Potter series of the Harry Potter series sitting on that chair. On the on the furniture, J.K. Rowling wrote, quote, you may not find me pretty, but don't judge me. And quote, I wrote Harry Potter while sitting on this chair, end quote. On the piece of furniture, she also drew li a lightning bolt and signed her name on the rusty chair. Wow, 300, 339 or $94,000. I wish I had that money. Anyway, time now to check in with David on today's entertainment report. Good morning, David. Good morning, Justin. In the movie, The Jungle Book, an orphan child named Mowgli gets lost in the woods and is adopted, sorry, Mowgli. He gets lost in the woods and is adopted by a pack of wolves. He's also raised by a bear and a black panther. He faces many challenges and mean creatures in the jungle. With the help of his new family in the woods, he creates a new life. Jungle Book is already in theaters. Sorry for that. I was stuttering a lot. Sorry about that. Um, let's see what's going on in the world of weather. Good morning, Victoria. Good morning, it's time for your earthquake update. This morning in Alaska, there was a 5.7 earthquake with a tsunami warning. This morning in Ferndale, California, there was a 3.6 earthquake also. Our pollen index for today will be a 5.0. Moving through the week, our high will be a 5.4 tomorrow, which is not that high, but it's still <laughs> the highest in the week. It's here in Los Angeles, our high will be... No, what? Here in Los Angeles, it will be partly sunny. Moving up to the north, it will be very sunny. In the Midwest, very sunny. In the east, rainy with a chance of thunder and lightning. And down in the south, same with rain, thunder, and lightning. Here in Los Angeles, our high will be 72. Moving up to the north, moving up to the north, they'll be looking at high 70s to low 80s. In the Midwest, high 50s to low 60s. In the east low 80s and down in the south high seven high 60s to low 70s it's time for our five-day forecast today's high will be 71 and our low will be 55 moving through the week our high will be a 79 next friday which makes no sense because it's supposed to be raining okay it's now time to check out the social pics with yossi good morning thank you Victor. Tetzloff Science Olympics. All right, that's all right. I got this. Ready? That's Connor. That's Chloe. That's Eva. That's Jonathan. Don't know. Oh well, congratulations on getting first place. Third. Place. What would be the place you can't get? First. Oh yeah, says again first. Yep, I know these names. Just give it time next time. Time. 
Don't forget to send your birthday pics and your social pics. Big match just on Instagram, match us up to it. Time to check out the Daily World Pool with Jace. Good morning, Jace. Good morning, Jassy. Today we have Josh. Good morning, Jace. With us. Good morning, Josh. Good morning, Jace. So, Josh, as the calendar said, we have testing from 9th to 27th. And how do you feel about that? Yes, I don't either. Would you mind running this week's poll for us, Josh? All right. Should Tesla add more outdoor sports? Here's what some of you guys said. Yes, because students who don't play any sports right now will have different choices that they will like. And another student said, no, because it would cost the school a lot of money to supply students with sports gear and buy equipment. To vote, visit us online, live5show.com. We want to hear your opinions and put them on the air. Simply direct message us on Instagram at TeslaFCA. So, outdoor sports. Give me your opinion. I think we should add more outdoor sports because I was more into baseball. So I wanted, I want them to add baseball to the sports on the Tesla. Yeah, we don't really have that many choices right now. So there's not that many more outdoor sports we can add, but still adding as much as we can is still cool. Isn't that right, Josh? Yes, that's right, Chase. Thank you, Josh. Well, time to check out the Daily 401. Let's go. Thank you, Jace, and I really do not want testing. Anyway, about how long would it take to charge an iPhone to 100 without using it? 30 minutes, 50 minutes, one hour, or three hours? Take five. It would take about three hours to fully charge an iPhone. Well, time to check in with Eva. Speaking of iPhones, there's this thing. The Apple brand is the most profitable and most popular technology brand in the world. But, but would you think that they would create a piece of technology that, technology that cost $17,000? Well, they did. In fact, they created a $17,000 Apple Watch. Is it made of pure gold? Find out. It is a 42 millimeter yellow gold case that, it, that is 18 karat gold. Well, there's your answer, it is gold. Many people have bought this $300 Apple Watch that is silver or space gray. You might be surprised, but many people have actually bought this $17,000 Apple Watch. Yikes! You'd most likely see someone wearing it if you walk in Hollywood, New York City, or LA. Apple isn't done creating more world-changing technology. Congratulations, we'll have iPhones that are made of pure gold. The inside is gold. The case is gold. The home button is gold. That's great. Well, that wraps up our show for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.